This week we're talking about value wines and it's fun because we're going to talk about the wines. I find that most wines under $20 become homogenous. That's where you find the ones that are really confected, not wines that I really like, lots of sugar, really boring, uninteresting. So I put together 12 wines here that are all great value wines and you're going to usually find these because they're under $20, some are $13, $14. They're going to be on the bottom shelf, but don't be afraid. And they might be the wines you're not going to see the varietal on the front. They're not going to have a picture you recognize or a critter you're used to seeing. They're going to be wines that are actually interesting, made by farmers, small production, and great value. Most often they seem to be coming from, you know, the regions that are hot right now, say Portugal, Spain, uh, Italy, because um, some regions it's just a bit more expensive to make wine. And a lot of these estates have been owned by the family for a long time, so they're able to not have those costs of a new vineyard. So we have Bubbles, this Bubbles from Australia. We have White, this is a great vino there. This is definitely $12.50 on the shelf. And this is like bright and crisp and refreshing and you would have this on a hot day. You would chill it right down. There's some tropical notes, some citrus notes. I mean, but it really well priced, something you can pull out anytime because in the summer, that's when we're getting these guests that are stopping by. We're having impromptu parties and barbecues, I think more entertaining and just your Tuesday night wines. Rosés, I mean, I love this producer. This is Veronelle. Veronelle makes, he just makes the most beautiful wines from the uh, um, southern France. This rosé is just so pretty and so, just, you, you can chill it, you wouldn't want to chill it as much maybe as this white, but you would want to get it around, say, 12 degrees and enjoy it outside. You can also, this Samer, this is Cab Franc, incredible, absolutely gorgeous. Or you could choose a Provence Rosé, classic rosé, under $20, with this great shape, which is part of the, what, um, how they like to bottle in Provence. Then from there, you can go into some light reds. I mean, sometimes the bottle can be beautiful. This is a white. I mean, that bottle is gorgeous. That is, um, I don't think there's a lot of it in our market, but it's a beautiful bottle. They also make reds with a very similar and always under $20. You can choose something bigger, like this Tempranillo. Um, it's... It's uh, maybe not the prettiest label, but it's a delicious little wine. It's served, I know they have it at Sabor in Edmonton, some of the restaurants, because it's a great value wine. This one we do know, you can see it's Chianti, also like $17 on the shelf. Chianti goes great, it's a nice rustic wine, you would ha could have it with a steak, it's got some tannin and some structure, or really big wine from southern France. This is a great guy, his name is Christian, he makes this, um, uh, he's worked for many of the biggest uh, um, Chateau Neuf uh, de Pop uh, estates and he's sort of retired after his father gave uh, stopped working. When his father retired then he took over the vineyard and uh, they, he looks after these uh, I think four estates. This is Vauclaus. Most of his wines come from closer to the region uh, Segare which is in the Côte de Rome village area but um, it's a big, smooth, juicy tannic. This is a big wine that could stand up to uh, you know any of the bigger dishes that you might have, like something grilled and barbecued. But have some fun. Um, go out, grab a case of wine, mix it up however you want, and have them on hand. Have them for the summer so you're ready for any of those impromptu moments.